Hey what's up everyone, my name is Andrew and in this video we're gonna do something different. This is Acer Aspire 1640Z and this model is released about 15 years ago. This laptop is coming with a very weak specs. The CPU is single core Intel Pentium M running at 1.73 GHz. The RAM is 512 MB DDR2 and the hard disk is 100 GB. But except very low specs, this laptop is in a very bad condition. The case is full of scratches and some small damages. The keyboard is almost without keys, but for a surprise, most of the keys are still working. The display is still alive, but no backlight. On the display, there are a few vertical lines and with a constant flickering. And the other bad thing is the cooling fan. I think the cooling fan sound tells everything. But there are good things. The laptop is still alive, I mean on the motherboard and some other components. And the battery is still working well. Well, let's start. Make some changes and back this laptop in a function again. So first I will start with a full teardown. I will separate each part because we're gonna cross over a cleaning process, we're gonna do some mods and make some upgrades. Well, and we are done. Now let's move on cleaning. So first I start with cleaning the motherboard. To clean the motherboard I use a brush as always and to clean the rust around some components I used cotton buds and 96% isopropyl alcohol. Now, after I finish with the motherboard, I continue with cleaning the other components. Like the cooling fan, but just the base cleaning of the cooling fan. Then I move on the trackpad and the other buttons and electronics.
well. After I got everything shines again, I move on cleaning the case. The case that has some electronics on it, like the bottom case with non-removable speakers, I clean it using a brush to avoid some damage to the speakers. The other plastics from the case that are without electronics, I wash it using soap and water. I have done this because this is the only way to make them shine again. And actually, I need this because of the upcoming modification. Meanwhile, I was in search for the keyboard, display and some upgrade parts. So, let's start with the keyboard. The old keyboard is totally damaged and that cannot be fixed. And for a chip, I found a used keyboard for this laptop. At first, it doesn't look really good, but it's fully functional. Well, here I had to cross over a cleaning process again. First, using a brush I start with removing the major dust and dirt. Then, to clean the back side from the dust I used a soft cleaning cloth. And to clean the keycaps I used a 96% isopropyl alcohol. Also, as always, I must say a warning. If you're going to clean a laptop keyboard, be very careful. Laptop keyboards are very sensitive to liquids. Even a few drops of liquid, if enters to the inside, may damage the entire keyboard. Well, the keyboard is looking much better. It is not the best, but is much better than the old keyboard. After I finish with the keyboard, I move to the display. The display, I got it used also, and in a good condition. However, the display also requires cleaning, so here I need to cross over one more cleaning process again. To clean the display, I used anti-static glass cleaner, a 96% isopropyl alcohol, few soft cleaning clothes and soft brush. Also, this display is not even for this laptop model, but it's still fitting well, and it will work well with no problems. So this is the display after the cleaning. It looks better. It has a few small scratches, but this is expected from some old, used and cheap display. Well, now we have everything clean and everything is looking much better. And now it's time to make some modifications. In this video I've decided to make something different. And that is making a glowing logo on the back side of the case. So now, first I started with removing the Wi-Fi antennas and the aluminum foil from the case. Because later I will need to cut the case. Well, for the logo or the character I had a couple of ideas. But in the end I've decided to make something different and that is a dragon logo or the character. So first I print a template in a few different sizes. Because I want to see which one will fit better and which one will look better. And I've decided to go with a bigger template. Now to copy the template to the case I will use a one old school technique. And that is using a stencil paper. So first. I stick the stencil paper on the case and over the stencil paper I stick the dragon template. Now, to copy the template is very simple. Using a pen I just need to cross over the template edges and basically that's it. Well, the template looks good. And now I moved on cutting. So first I start with a Dremel tool. With this tool I cut almost the entire character. But I cut from the inside. 
After I finish with a Dremel, using a short and sharp knife, I continue with removing the plastics around and I make the edges or the corners more definite and smooth. Then the last step was using a 600 grit sandpaper. With the sandpaper I make the plastic smoother and that gives the final look. Also this is a very slow process, making the dragon takes about a 5 hours of effective work. The process is slow because the laptop plastic is thick and hard, it is not very flexible as it's looking and it's easy to break it. So if you're going to make some experiment like this one, you should take more time and work slow and carefully. Well, now let's move to the next step. The next step is preparing the case for painting. And here I start with taping the case using a paper tape. Well, after I finish with the taping and when everything was ready, now I can move on painting the case. So for this project I used a two different sprays, black made spray and red made spray. And the both sprays are low pressure sprays. So first I start with a red spray. To paint the case I cross over the standard procedure of painting and I apply three coats. With the red spray I paint the top case, I mean the back side of the display and the display bezel. And with the red spray I paint the panel with the power and the other buttons and I paint the case where the keyboard is. But here I paint the top part, the bottom part and the trackpad buttons only. With the black spray I paint the bottom case, the plastic covers and the battery. I have done this because I want to refresh the laptop case. Also the painting will cover the scratches and the case will look much better. After I finish with painting, I continue by removing the paper tape and cleaning the case again. Well, now let's move to the next modification. So now I had to cover the dragon on the case and give a better aesthetics. Now I took the old display and from this display I will take out the thin acrylic panel from the inside. Well, after I took the acrylic panel I cut it on a half. It is not very good, but it will do the job. But there is a catch about this mod. To one side this acrylic panel is smooth, but from the other side there are small dots. And these tiny dots actually reflect more light. So in this case I need to paint the smooth side. Now I move to the laptop case. Using a strong glue I stick the acrylic panel on the case, but the small dots on the acrylic panel are from the inside. After the glue gets dry I took the paper tape again and I protect the acrylic panel and the sides around. Mm -hmm. 
Now I used a white spray to paint the case from the inside. I paint the case into a white because of better reflection. And with this the logo or the character will have a much better glowing effect. After I finished with the top case, now I moved on the bottom case, where the keyboard is. So here, instead of painting the case, I've decided to stick a black carbon foil. The carbon foil will give a better look and different taste. And it will fit great with the Dragon logo. Well, after I finish with the case, I move on the trackpad. The trackpad it is not really fitting how it looks. And over the trackpad I stick a black carbon also. This modification will not affect the trackpad, the trackpad functionality or anything about it. And finally, this is how the painted, the modified case is looking. Well, now let's move on assembling the laptop and some upgrades. Well, and now it's time to make some upgrades. And the first upgrade is gonna be the CPU. Instead of single core Intel Pentium M, I will go with dual core Core to Duo T7100s. This CPU will boost the performance. Not very much, but an out 
to play some games and for basic things. And the next and the last upgrade is the RAM. Instead of 512 MB, I will go with 3 GB of RAM. Actually, I want to go with 4, but this is the best what I found for now. However, 3 GB of RAM is much better than 512 MB. But what's about the hard disk? The hard disk is still good, in a perfect condition, and it will stay like that. Also, this laptop has an ID connection, so I cannot connect SSD. Or if I used some converter like ID to SATA, then the disk will not fit in the case. And the last thing that I have done are the anti-sliding pads. These pads are missing. And here I used a furniture fill pads. So basically this is a good alternative in some cases. They are cheap, easy to find and easy to stick. Well, and after all, this is the final result. Well, now let's move to the laptop and some games. Basically, this laptop is not really powerful, but it's still good for basic things. I've tried to go with Windows 7, but the Windows 7 is running slower and some games started to crash. So I had to back to the Windows XP. The Windows XP is a quite old, but it's still perfect for some older hardware. In this case, everything is fully functional and fully usable. It's great for listening to music, watching some videos, actually it's a great media center and it's perfect for some old and awesome games. And the first game on the list is Diablo 2. The Diablo 2 is a dark fantasy game and basically continues right after the original Diablo game. The game offers to choose between a 5 different characters to play. And personally, for me, this game has a great story, full of mysteries, challenges and it's very addictive to play. Well, the next game on the list is Half-Life Opposing Force. The Opposing Force is an expansion pack from the Half-Life, but it is happening in the same period as the Half-Life. Just here, the gameplay starts from the other side. The game is great, full of action, it has some different weapons than the Half-Life and it's shorter than the Half-Life, but it's still a great game to play.
Well, the next game on the list is The Stronghold. The Stronghold is a strategy game placed in the medieval ages, and it's a very fun game to play. In this game, you can choose to play some battle, some economical mission, or you can just go with a free build, which mostly I do. The game is more about building a kingdom, developing the kingdom, and trading with goods. And the last game on the list is Cadillac and Dinosaurus. When we talk about some older hardware, I almost always use this game. This is a classic and simply cannot be skipped on an older hardware and Windows XP based computer. Actually, this laptop is perfect for any of these older arcade games. Well, and this is all about this Acer laptop. This is an old laptop, but it's still good and useful. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope this video will give ideas and inspiration to back some touch in function again. Also, if you want to support me, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.